Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, we're going to do a DIY and I'm going to give you an update on a bunch of stuff. This week has been so busy. Um, so first and foremost, I want to show you my door that I completed in my live today. Uh, second, you're going to get the DIY. And then third, stick around to the end. I have a bit of news for you guys. The door. Uh, <laughs> painted it in my live today. And if you guys missed it, oh my gosh, so fun. I used Americana from DIY Paint. It is a cottage color. And uh, the colors in that series is all curated by Jamie Ray Vintage. So uh, one of my favorites, and if you don't know what it's named after, it's the Americana Chicken. They actually hatch eggs that color, guys. So it is definitely one of my favorites. We then painted a bunch of frames on the live today and we painted them with Fusion's Coal Black and then Wet Distressed them after we used beadboard from DIY Paint. So now I'm going to seal these and on Monday's video we are going to put this all together. So the DIY today was inspired by the actual IOD transfers I was looking for this door. So I'm digging through my transfers and I'm trying to use up all my scraps. And um, if you guys have been following along for a while, I'm trying to use it all up. Uh, go through my stash of partially used, uh, you know, paint inlays, um, a transfers, decoupage paper and use it all up. So I'm digging through my transfers and all of a sudden I'm like, what is that tube over there? And I had completely forgotten when I was at the IOD conference uh, last year, I, <laughs> I forgot that I got a whole bunch of IOD transfers that are retired. So I'm digging, looking through them and I'm like, oh my gosh, this one is going to be perfect for the door. So I have one perfect for the door and I'm going to show you in a sec. But then the other one, well, there's a bunch of, a, a bunch of them are actual retired, but the other one is going to be used in the DIY project today. So let's head on over. I'm going to show you what I accomplished with that project and how I used up those transfers. And then we're going to come back. I'm going to show you the door and then a bit of, let you in on some tea. I went out into the garage and I have quite a few boards cut to this size. And my vision here is I want to paint one apothecary, one beadboard, and then the other one queen bee from DIY Paint. What I do is I apply just one even coat of the DIY paint over all three boards. I am using the Little Dipper from DIY. And if you aren't aware, Debbie Beard from DIY Paint created a series of paintbrushes that work beautifully with the DIY paint. And two of my favorites, because I work with a lot of small items, are the Little Dipper and the Perfectionist. The other ones are are just as great as well. Um, the multitasker is perfect for big pieces of furniture and I do paint furniture but probably not as often as I'm painting small pieces and then the perfectionist is the perfect tool to get into all the details of your small items. So I wanted to just point that out um, but these two brushes have definitely been my go-to for painting. At the end of a container, sometimes your DIY paint will thicken up a little bit or if it around the rim um, gets a little dried out, what you can do is you can mist your paint. Uh, DIY paint is very thick and heavily pigmented. So by misting it, it will make that paint go a whole lot further, add a little bit moisture back into it. Um, also with that other paint that kind of like hardens up in the jar, uh, push that right back down, add a little bit of water to it, and you will get your paint back again. Now that I have all three painted and they are dry, I am laying these out and I quickly determine that I think they're too long. I then reposition it and I'm trying to decide if I like it this way or if I want it in the center. 
but I decide I am going to move it down. I'm going to lay down the transfers and then after I'm done with that, take it outside and cut each of the boards down. As I was laying the first transfer down, I realized that you could actually replicate these signs. Yes, with the current IOD supplies that are available now. And if you look at the letters, they very much remind me of the typesetting stamp set, which is by far one of my favorites. And in the center, um, the farm animals. So it comes with a cow, there's a chicken, you can get a, I think there's a pig in there, a bunny, um, unfortunately not a bee, but in the stamp set birds and bees, you can get a bee out of there. So you could definitely replicate these and um, just use something a little different than a transfer. Now, because these were from quite a while ago, I mean, I've been a stockist for several years. I was a little nervous. I'm like, how, you know, the stickiness, you know, and I, again, I was a little nervous, but you know what? That is why IOD is so amazing. They have amazing products and there were no problems with this transfer whatsoever. I laid it down and just like it was like a brand new transfer that just came off the press, it went on as smooth as butter. So if you haven't used the transfers before, you just lay them down, take your transfer stick, and then just start rubbing and then peeling it back. Uh, once you get your entire transfer on, you just uh, rub over it and that is called burnishing. And it really embeds your transfer in the product or project that you're creating. Um, and then I do that to all three signs and it really is as simple as that. The last thing I did is I cut those edges off and I touched up the paint there. I have the little excess. I think I'm going to make some mini signs with those. And I really think by cutting that down, it really made the sign. So now I'm using Big Top from DIY and I am completely sealing the front, the back, and the sides of the sign. Anytime you're using a transfer, you would want to seal that. And then because I'm using DIY paint, another reason to seal because DIY paint can be reactivated with water. And I just apply one even coat and this project is complete. And I love how they turned out. Um, and again, definitely try to recreate your own sign with the current IOD supplies. Here's the transfer. It is, there might be a glare, but oh my gosh, you guys, is this not the most beautiful transfer? Oh my, oh my, look at the bottom. It reminds me of the Bohemian stamp is what it reminds me of. But I love all the florals and I think by far, this is my favorite part of the transfer with the butterfly. So my vision for the door is I'm going to put the frames like randomly all over the door. I'm going to incorporate the transfer. So just like I recommend all the time, cut apart the transfer and use it however you want. And that's what I plan on doing with that. Now, the whole thing with the door is I have been talking about creating an inspirational door to really hold myself accountable for my goals, to inspire me, to keep me on track. And that's what I'm going to use the door for. And I finally collected enough little frames that I was able to do to start this project. Hopefully, um, I have enough. Uh, we will see. I'm going to also head out into the garage this weekend, dig through um, more of my stash, and hopefully find a few more uh, so that when I come back on Monday's Live, we are rip-roaring to go to put this all together. The last thing, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys all, does anybody know where I can find a crystal knob? So I want a working crystal knob. Somebody recommended it on my live and I was like, that is a brilliant idea. So I am looking for, well, like a knob, a door handle, I should say, a crystal door handle. So if you guys haven't joined me on a live, definitely I hope to see you over there. I do lives every Monday at six o'clock in the evening, Central Standard Time, and every Wednesday and Friday at 10 a.m. So yes, they are not for everyone, but it's a great time to interact with me. I love um, creating 
and just being more relaxed and chatting with everybody on the lives. So um, otherwise, I still am putting out all my videos every Monday and Friday at five o'clock over on YouTube. All right, well now, uh, here's some tea. Right. For the news, guys, here it is. I am so excited to announce that on March 14th, I am officially kicking off my very own podcast. Yes, you heard me right. I'm expanding my little small business over to the podcast platform. I have been giving you guys so much content um, with my videos, with my lives, my short form videos. And I really want to be able to sit down and chat with you a little bit more in depth about all the things of a small business owner. So I am kicking off Rescued and Upcycled and the first four episodes you are going to get just me. After that, every other week, I will be interviewing different guests. So I have a bunch of them lined up already and I cannot wait to bring you along this new journey of my small business. So if you love Apple Podcasts or Spotify, you can find me over there. Otherwise, I'll be right here on YouTube as well with a video podcast. I am excited. I'm a little nervous. Um, I haven't done any interviews yet, so uh, wish me luck. Um, but I am so glad that you guys are all with me on this new journey of my small business. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different, but this week has been so super stressful with everything I've been doing to prep and prepare for all the upcoming changes of my small business. And this is not the only news, you guys. So in a couple more weeks, I have some more news for you. So dying to tell you, but I'm working out all those details. Uh, like I said, this week has been crazy. So I'm just so excited for my business and what it's become and how it's growing. And I could not do this without all of you. So a huge thank you to each and every one of you for, you know, following along my journey, um, you know, ordering from me. Um, but I could not do this without each and every one of you. So thank you. All right. We'll see you guys on Monday and I'm going to be right back at my thrift to treasures. I was planning on doing one today, but like I said, life got in the way. So we'll see you guys Monday and have a great weekend. Bye.